My name is Nick Greens. I'm the owner of Nick Greens Incorporated here at the plant. Born and raised here in Chicago, um, always within about a four or five mile radius from the plant. I've been uh, interested in growing my whole life. Uh, got into growing in 2008, and from there I haven't stopped growing food indoors since then. The plant uh, takes the ideas that we uh, pioneer, like materials reuse, internal recycling, uh, and takes them to a new level. The plant is going to be net zero, meaning we'll be producing all of our energy on site from waste. Uh, Nick early on was one of our, our best volunteers and then started to slowly get into the growing side and Plant Chicago uh, was able to incubate the business and, and get it uh, where it's on sound footing and, and off he goes. A microgreen is basically a small plant that's grown anywhere from 7 to 21 days. It can be anywhere from corn to peas to radishes, carrots, and it can be practically almost anything that we can grow here. The main uses for these uh, microgreens are garnishes. The way we use this space is uh, we do uh, traditional farming brought indoors and doing it vertically. It's working here and I can see this working in bigger greenhouses and any other households. I mean, this vertical growing is definitely somewhere to take every single square inch of your room and utilize it. The way I deliver the microgreens to the restaurants is on bike. We're a sustainable company, so we don't use any uh, packaging when we take it to the restaurant. We take it in a tiffin container, so we can carry that to the chefs. We go ahead and put the tiffins inside the bike trailer, and um, we deliver like that to the chefs. So some of the restaurants that we deliver to are Arcadia, El Ideas, and Everest. Uh, one of the special relationships that I have is with El Ideas, uh, Phil Foss. Um, he's more of like my R&D chef. Uh, he does give me a lot of uh, different things that he wants us to grow. I really enjoy that relationship because it kind of pushes me to the, to the threshold that I really need to be at. I mean, I think it's extremely important to bring in ingredients from our neighbors as much as possible. First of all, you're able to develop a much more personal relationship with them. And as it is with the customers and us, that relationship that we develop with our purveyors is extremely important to the integrity behind the food. It goes beyond just the ingredient itself and it should translate itself into more flavor to the guests and more integrity to the final product. I constantly am getting that this is some of the best screens they've seen and I think that they can see the passion and the love that I put into the plants. I spent six months, day in, day out, sleeping in this room the first six months of me starting this project. I've seen this to be a, a very boutique, small farming operation. I don't see this going big, and it's not really the volume here that we're trying to, uh, to develop, is uh, more of the knowledge, the education, so we can give to the community. And I think that's more important than uh, going after the big money.